Hi there, I'm Dr. Snee. I'm an internal medicine doctor, and today I'm going to show you about different types of feeding tubes. Um, there are different types of feeding tubes we use in our patients uh, for different things, um, depending on what we need them for. Um, in some patients, there are tubes that are temporary or things we use in the hospital, and sometimes there are things we send home. So I wanted to do an overview of those different types of tubes. So if your veterinarian is recommending one of these tubes, we can show you um, what the different types are. So the smallest type of tube, which our anxious patient here is demonstrating, is a type of tube called an NG tube. This tube goes from the nose down into the stomach. This is a nice tube for patients that doesn't usually require anesthesia. Sometimes it requires a little bit of sedation to put in, but they use a numbing agent in the nose and they pass it down into the stomach and they use an x-ray to tell that it's in the right place. These are nice for patients in the hospital that have a lot of uh, fluid in their stomach. It's also a good way to get nutrition without placing them under anesthesia to put a tube in. Um, as you'll see in our patient here, there's just a couple little sutures in place um, where that tube is in. So you can see that there. Um, but it's pretty quick and easy to do. It's not very cooperative, but you can kind of see that there. So pretty easy. Um, the disadvantage of this tube is that if you look at this tube here and the size, it is a pretty small tube. So the food that we can give through it is going to be um, more of a liquid type of food rather than a more um, canned type of food, which we can use for some of the other feeding tubes. Uh, so from this, the next type of feeding tube up is a type of tube that goes in the neck. It's called an esophageal feeding tube. It goes in the side of the esophagus. This type of tube does require anesthesia because you have to be able to pass the tube down in. So the risks with placement of this tube are gonna be um, related to any infections around the site. There's rare chance of bleeding because there are some blood vessels in the neck. Um, there's a couple different types of tubes that we use for that. This is one of the types so you'll notice compared to this other tube, um, it is going to be a bigger diameter. So that's nice for larger amounts of food um, or for using things like canned food. Um, the other type of tube that we sometimes use um, also as an esophageal feeding tube is this guy. It's just a different type of tubing with a different adapter that you can use. Um, our patient that we have, uh, for example, who's a little grumpy um, is here. So you can see this tube is secured in the side of the neck, and here we have a bandage in place. And so there's just some little sutures, just like with the other tube, but that actually goes into the side of the neck. Um, this bandage can cover the tube to keep it from uh, falling out and to keep everything secure, um, but also will help to keep it a little more comfortable and keep your pet from scratching at it. And then, other type of tube um, that we will sometimes use um, is a cake tube and that tube is placed also under anesthesia. This type of tube actually goes into the stomach and usually a scope is used to place it in the stomach. The thing that's nice about this tube and the reason we most commonly place this one instead of one of the esophagus tubes is for patients that have esophageal trauma. So if they've had damage to their esophagus then you don't want the food to go past the esophagus. So dogs that have had foreign bodies or strictures um, or have trouble with swallowing, then this tube will go in the stomach. It's fed pretty similar to the other type of esophageal feeding tube, um, but this type of tube is gonna be a little bit more of a long-term thing for a feeding plan um, rather than some of these other tubes, which might be more short-term. Uh, in our next video we're going to do, we're going to actually show you a demonstration on how you actually give food through an e-tube. So if you want more information on that, that video will be up next. All right, thank you.